Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Lane Side Reviews. And on this episode, we're going to be styling and profiling, just like Ric Flair, with the new Deviate Diva Style. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I am the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. As we said, we're looking at Deviate's new Diva Style. Now, when they decided to make this ball, they wanted to give performance, but also a really sleek, good-looking ball. It just so happens we got both of those put together in the three-color Diva Style. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about the ball, Scoops? It has the original medium RG Diva Core in it. And it's got the three color composite pearl cover stock, which was last seen in the Grudge Pearl. For a pearl ball, this outperformed the original Diva. It offered more hook and just it was cleaner and just overall better look distance wise than the Diva Pearl in the XO. Yeah, for us it almost uh, performed like a hybrid with lots of hook but still very forgiving and super clean. But rather than listening to us talk about it, why don't we take it lane side and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, here's Wayne Porter, our low speed, low rev player. Yeah, he's bowling the Kegel Main Street oil pattern. And uh, here we have the Diva style. I think if you actually go back and find the original Diva mm -hmm. and watch where Wayne's playing, I think he's playing pretty close to the same spot. Yeah, you could probably you could overlay these, and they you wouldn't be able to tell the, the difference. difference. Um, Except for this one's much prettier. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, yeah. But uh, style, uh, the you know, motion wise, they're definitely a lot closer than I thought they were going to be. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Now, I mean, a, a few years cool. ago, we saw the Diva Pearl come out. Yes. And it was super clean. It was yeah. probably four or five boards less hook. Yeah. Somehow they've made a pearl that reacts like the original Diva yeah. Solid. Wow. With that super rolly core, yeah. super strong. Yeah. Man, this ball was great. <laughs> Anything I did have to complain about in the balls that came up before this one mm -hmm. were all corrected with this. This is... This is probably now one of my favorite divas. Well, I don't know if you could really complain. Each had its, oh, had it, its it spots. Spot. Yes, but, but when that original diva went away, you didn't have that. Yeah, reaction exactly. Anymore. Yeah, and I mean, I know the orid the OG diva was your go to ball. Oh yeah, it was your, it's your baby. Yeah. Oh, a little wide there. Yeah. We. We. And that's one thing I noticed about this one compared to the original is. Because of its being pearl, mm -hmm. it's a little bit cleaner, and so when you get it out, it can become a little angular like yep. that, and that's what you need when you want to bumper outside. Oh yeah, yeah. But it didn't lose that characteristic no. of that rolly Rolls. symmetric core. Yeah, no, for sure. Look it's at you, fifteen five, rocking the shades, <laughs> <laughs> styling and profiling Styling. like Ric oh, Flair. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I know that the Divas have always been your your go-to yeah. ball. And I know in playing this, wow. even when they yeah. started to dry yeah. a little bit, and you'd get that little that weird hook spot in the yeah. lane that is created when people throw higher, higher uh, on stuff, yeah. you were able to play around it. Yeah. Uh, now, here I am. I definitely had to swing this ball out. <laughs> yeah. Um, with this rolly core, I think it, my... My biggest struggle with the Diva series was how strong this core yeah. was. I didn't often get to play it in league like I wanted to. Yeah. Um, oh Boop. yeah. This pearl cover stock, like you said, yeah. corrected that. Yeah. Because it made it so much cleaner, I could actually yeah. get it, keep it yeah. clean. But still, the, the ball's got Ooh. that super strong roll through the deck. I was it six was zero. Boom. Yeah. With a little loft too. Yeah. Right? Like holy moly, wow. this ball. One of the things I like about the Diva line is is that because that core is so rolly, it makes it a little more versatile. Oh, come on. Yes, that is Phoenix White approved. Come oh, on. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, 
Um, this ball with the the rolly strong core and with yeah. a clean cover stock, I could move in. I could throw it out. <sighs> it became the most versatile diva that I've ever seen. Hey, yeah. And you, know, you know, one more? We got one more. Right? We got one more, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I, I just want to keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> and I really like what they did. Adding that third color, it really does make it stylish. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews or click below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on the box. Or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again, you can click on the other box. And don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at LogoInfusion.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you Laneside. This program sponsored by Turbo, driven to bowl, for all the quad two inserts and interchangeable thumbs we use in all of our videos. Coaches know where to get the best training aids from. Eileen's Bowling Buddy. Use code LANESIDE and save today. Bowlerama Berry, for all the lanes we bowl on. For birthday parties and corporate events, call now. Still searching for that perfect fit? With no residue and easy removal, Real Bowler's Tape really is the Real Bowler's choice. And Logo Infusion. Look the best, be the best, infuse your game. Logo Infusion.